I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you, do you think Brock Purdy was snubbed? People have uh, a lot of interesting discussions on Brock Purdy. Definitely statistically led the league in pretty much every quarterback category possible. I mean, all EPA, every you know, everything that you could lead statistically, Brock Purdy took advantage of up until that Ravens game. People were pretty convinced that he might run away with that MVP spot. And even even when Lamar Jackson, you know, won so convincingly in that Ravens game, people were still comparing their numbers and saying Brock Purdy, at least statistically, you know, has performed better. Uh, obviously, very, very talented team around him. Um, story is really good. But yeah, Dak Prescott beat him out to make the second team all pro list. Do you think that that is rightfully or not rightfully? There was a second that Dak Prescott was in the MVP conversation with Purdy, and then Dak had a really bad game. It's kind of why did why does this happen? It feels like do the end of the game do the end of the season games matter more when it comes to all these voting things? I feel like I think for voting like, purposes it does, but then it's like like recency bias. The, the biggest yeah recency bias, but I think at the same time it's like so you don't care what they do in week one, like week one if they lose to a terrible team could impact them being the number one seed or being a playoff team, right? Like week three yeah. is the same. I'm like they, all these games matter, but I think it's just the recency bias. Um, you kind of don't see players who make all pro or make all pro or MVP do bad towards the end of the season or have a game where they get blown out. Like there's just statistically it's that's what it is. Um, I'm not too sure why. And I hate answering this question on in terms of, there was, you go. If Brock Purdy is the MVP of the Super Bowl. He won't care that he's left off this list. I like hey. that take. There you go. Set your set your expectations. Not. I mean, sounds like Brock Purdy's talking about himself that way privately too. Honestly, so yeah, he's talking about him a little fiery, right? He's talking about um, that's when he said, uh, "I don't care what you think of me." Well, gunslinger and stuff like that. I like the I like the confidence. Now, what I don't like is having this conversation because it makes me come off as a hater. Yeah, I don't think he was snubbed. Um, because I'm just like, why am I always put in this position? I'm well, always put in this say. position where I have to talk about it. But it, it's it's cool though because as a Niner fan, I think he's like, there's two two different ways, right? Where I'm like, I talk Niners football, and and that's why I want to do a lot more football, not just necessarily Niners on my channel. Because yes, when you talk talk Niners, like I want to say Brock Purdy is the best quarterback MVP. This, 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 and that. But then when you look at it from an outside perspective and not necessarily a Niners fan, like truly like actually wanting to talk football, I don't think he was. You got Lamar Jackson, the the only quarterback on the first team. Um, and then you have Dak Prescott on the second team. When you look at both of them, they MVP is, is number one, right? Like that's Lamar Jackson. He's he's gonna yeah. win the MVP. He put up whatever numbers he did on the Niners. Um, and then when you look at the second team. Dak Prescott, he put up numbers too, and he he his team played well. He got them into to win their division, which a lot of people didn't think they were going to win their division. But he put up the numbers. He he has the numbers to back it up. Now I get Brock Purdy has he leads the league in has, every statistic. Has, they have similar numbers, and Dak, in my opinion, has worse off talent and a worse off coach as well. Say that again. Dak Prescott and Brock Purdy have extremely similar numbers. And Dak Prescott has worse talent around him and a worse off coach. Exactly. Not saying that so, Dallas's talent is bad, but just comparatively, the 49ers are really at the pinnacle. Exactly. And that's what I, that was my next point. Like when you look at Dak, CD Lamb's his his best player by far. Like you look at the yeah. Niners, you can have the conversation on who's who's the next best player. Yeah. Like you can after cover certain, like three of the stars and there'd still be two stars to throw the ball to. Exactly. So for for like CD Lamb, like, if CD Lamb's taken out of the game, the Cowboys, you're like you're screwed. So that's the thing. Dak doesn't me. have that problem. Dak doesn't have that problem, and when you look at it, unfortunately, it it does hurt Brock Purdy when people go to vote because you you see with CD, you see what Dak's doing. Um, his tight end, he's making uh uh Jake Ferguson, uh a legit tight end over there. Uh, his next best receiver is Brandon Cooks, which is a very good receiver. I'm not saying Brandon Cooks is and good. And people He's were like, like down when um, how did I just blank the tight end for Dallas right when when he got injured? Oh um, 
Fer- not Ferguson, uh, Schultz. I have Mark Andrews in my brain, and I know that that's the Ravens. Um, never mind. They're tight end because they're tight ends. Ferguson, they they didn't resign uh Dalton Schultz. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. There we yeah, go. Yeah. So them not having so them having Ferguson, him pretty much bringing Ferguson on. Um, so for me, I do think the the numbers are up there. Um, his numbers, he does have a strong case for the the awards MVP, first team all pro, second team all pro. But when you look at it, Lamar Jackson is the MVP favorite. He's had a phenomenal season. They whooped on the Niners. He deserves the first team all pro, in my opinion. Second team all pro then comes up to who people think, and you look at the the entire picture. And Dak Prescott isn't isn't a bad option. Like it, it really yeah. isn't. He's had a and, great and, year. And something that I like when it comes to how they said like Brock Purdy was only one vote out with with um, Dak is it wasn't like everyone was like oh Dak is miles miles better than Brock Purdy like in the same way that you and I are discussing like hey it's kind of a close bet like Brock has a little bit better numbers but then you have to kind of maybe dock him a little bit for having such better coaching and better talent like I think by the way that the voting turned out you can kind of see that even the the voters might have been a little bit conflicted and and I don't think it's a I don't think that Brock should be you know take take um offense to to that because it, it seems like he was given his respect while also not winning the award you know what I mean it wasn't like he was blown up by miles and people were like oh Dak is like clearly better like it, it seems like it was a very close race yeah, it was close. I mean, it was only by two votes. So that means literally two people thought, you know what, Dak had a better year. If it goes the other way, he's a second team all pro. And now it doesn't. And I don't if think Brock he... honestly doesn't throw four interceptions in the Ravens game, I think he gets that second team all pro. Like that's yeah, on right. people's mind. You can't do that a week before these things come, you know, while like people like voted basically like two weeks ago. So they were like voting when that game is like fresh in their brain. So for me, that's that's the biggest thing is like you can't say yes. I think it's there's a case and there's a strong case that he should have been second team all pro. But it's like I don't think it's necessarily a snub because it was so close. It's like not really a snub. Now when you like if he would have been like nowhere close to Dak Prescott when the numbers came out, like because they they do say like, oh he was two votes off or whatever. If it was like not even close. Then I'm like, then it would be feel disrespectful, right? Dudes? Yeah, like it's like yeah, then it's yeah. like, whoa, what are what are we, where are we voting? Like, who's voting? So that's where I necessarily think where if it was not close, then it would have been snubbed. I don't think he was snubbed. I don't either. I I like I like that distinction, and I like that they um kind of are open with the amount of votes that people people get. Um, Chris Ors Oserin, don't worry, I can't pronounce anything ever. Um, yes, Brock needs more seasoning, uh, more seasons, <laughs> seasoning seasons, more seasons under his belt. Better yet, a Super Bowl to be taken into serious considerations for any future awards. And this might have been kind of in response to um, Purple's comment, which was, don't you think if Brady had the same numbers as Brock Purdy, he would be top of the MVP conversation right now? Well, first of all, we shouldn't like talk about Brock Purdy as if he wasn't literally top of the MVP conversation two weeks ago before he threw four intercepts. Like he is not being, to me, he's not being discredited. Like people I think are, you know, most, most rational people are paying Brock Purdy a ton of respect. They're just saying like, he's not literally number one, but they're not saying he's like a bad quarterback. You know what I mean? Like he was like in the the MVP conversation all year, all year long. Um, I do agree that like, I think, but I think even with Brady, like how I think Brady had to freaking go win a Super Bowl in Tampa in order to be taken seriously. I, I, this is my personal thought, but I think that, I think that draft status stays with players for so long. I think if Brock Purdy was Trevor Lawrence right now, he might be atop of the you know MVP conversation because people when they're drafted high, I think people really want to like reinforce their their narratives. And I think that when you're drafted lower, you have to work even harder and have even more accolade, accolades for a longer amount of time to be given that same amount of respect. So, yeah, maybe if Bert, 
Brady was having that season now. Also, though, to be fair, Brady had a much better season. Didn't he get he he like led the league in passing yards and touchdowns or something and didn't win MVP because it was the year that Aaron Rodgers had like a crazy interception to touchdown ratio. So even Brady didn't like it's let's not talk about Brady as if he won every single year. And all of those that year, the play like the quarterbacks right now that are in content, even Lamar Jackson, like his numbers don't do anything compared to numbers of previous quarterbacks. It's definitely a down year for the MVP conversation. There's not like one player that's killing it. Looking as at Brady's well. looking at Brady's numbers, he didn't get recognition for the pro uh, all pro until he got votes in his third year, which were was a less that. And so his second his uh, second full season as a starter, twenty eight touchdowns, fourteen interceptions, threw for thirty seven hundred yards. Didn't get nothing. Didn't make the Pro Bowl. Didn't get nothing. His next year, more of a down year, twenty three touchdowns, twelve interceptions. He got votes for all pro um and an mvp but it was like third it was third on the list and it was like the one who ran away with it was peyton manning like beyond um everything and then when you keep looking at it like he has a season where he throws uh four four thousand yards 26 touchdowns he doesn't get many votes until he starts winning his mvp in the mvp year he won it it was like 50 it was 4800 yards 50 touchdowns that was a year in 07 so it's like he didn't really start getting recognition until after that big year. Um, and and the, the year that Manning won with MVP one year and he had bad numbers, I believe that he already had uh, a year before that was already had proven himself. So it's like, again, a lot of the voters do have to do that. Yeah, like, I think that that's important for people to recognize because I do think that I have heard that before. Like, oh, well, Brady, it's like, well, Brady put in years to, to prove this. It wasn't like his first year. They were like, oh, He's the chosen one. He's going to, you know, surprise. The, I think people don't understand the, the importance of sustainability within the league. There's a lot of players that have one-off really great seasons. And I'm not predicting that Brock Purdy can't sustain this. I actually think he will. But I think that it makes sense that, you know, he has to continue to prove himself over and over again. And I like what someone had put in the chat earlier about, Winning a Super Bowl, you know, in your first year is definitely going to start catapulting you there. And, um, yeah, so so I, I I think the discussion is fair, but I also think um, the year Manning won, he had bad numbers. Peyton Manning was Peyton Manning for a million years before he won Super Bowl MVP. Um, what about, really quickly, I did want to ask about – because uh, we're going back to the snub conversation, but I didn't bring him up. Did you feel like Dre Greenlaw was ripped off? Um, we talked about IU earlier on, but um, we had a couple of people in the comments bring up Dre Greenlaw's name, so I wanted to touch on it. I felt like he at least should have been in the Pro Bowl. I felt like he was ripped off of the Pro Bowl. For the All-Pro team, the All-Pro team is hard because it's a way more exclusive group than the Pro Bowl. I think I agree. I don't think he was snubbed from the from the All Pro team. I think maybe second team, um, but yeah. even if you look at it, like again, it's it's kind of like a, a the guys on there are like very deserving. Yeah, it's so like and when you look at it, it's like players who like Bobby Wagner. I don't think should have made it, no. um, but it's like it's again it's it's a popularity contest because of who's voting. Like I said in the beginning, it's a biasy. There's biasy there, so I don't. I mean, he had an argue has an argument for it. I think he definitely was deserving of second team all pro uh, but again when you or when you're constantly having you got to remember these voters are a lot of journalists when you yep. have bad, bad character bad. exactly and not only that's i don't want to say bad character because he's not a bad person but when you're doing the stuff with don and you're getting ejected um and stuff like that that may come into factor as well and it's it sucks but it is what it is yeah i mean i i agree i do i do think that fans it's nice that fans give him it, it seems like 49er player or 49er fans really have a lot more respect for him than maybe he has across the league because he is a phenomenal player. But I do agree with you. I think walking that line, um, people people put a lot more into stock than just your play when they're voting on that. They're like, oh, well, are you a good representative of the team and X, Y, and Z? And it's like, just am I a good player? Yes or no? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, 
I just want Brock Party to have MVP because I put ten dollars on a preseason. Was a great payout. Also, the also bet the 49ers to win a Super Bowl accidentally twice. My sister, my sister, a uh, little cutie. She has a boyfriend, and he was so mad that the 49ers lost against the the Rams because he like gambled on them. And I'm like, I think that means you have a gambling addiction. Because who the hell get that was like a preseason game? Why would you gamble on that? That's um, and I think he also. And then he like this is how you know that it's a problem. <laughs> I'm, they're kids, so it's fine. I think it was like five dollars. This is how you know it's like a problem because he was like, "It's fine. I'm just gonna like switch it, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna gamble more on the Super Bowl, and then I'm gonna make so that I'll make up for it when they win the Super Bowl." And I was like, "Abort mission. <laughs> Pull out now. Pull out now. That's not what. That's not how you should be thinking about these things." That's hilarious. Oh, so so funny. Um, really quickly, did you want to talk about uh, Adam Peter? 